We're shaking people back with another reaction, and we're back to start going through some solo Mary material. And although that's been shared by me with a couple people, I did just receive a CD of her personal or solo material, and it's called, um, or it's a word in Swedish that I looked online. It translates to finally, uh, and this appears to be a compilation because it's listed as 1984 to 2000. Now I'm shooting this reaction after I shot a reaction to an electronic tune. Uh, and the reason I'm going to post them in reverse order is because when I shot this, I was like, I know, I talked to someone about they were going to send me this, um, along with a Mary Fredrickson CD, and so I was very appreciative, but I didn't remember, and I looked through my email, and I couldn't find the exchange in the email, and so I didn't know the name. Well, I should have looked on the back of the package. Eric is the one who sent it. So big shout out to you, Eric. I really do appreciate it. Not just the uh, Mary C CD, but also the... Um, electronic vinyl, which is really nice to have that record on vinyl, because, you know, you might see it in a DJ Schnoots mix at some point. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we are going to listen to Mary Fredrickson's, uh, or it's Mary Fredrickson's Basta? Is that her full name? Um, yeah, I didn't realize that, so, um, but like I said, the title of this compilation, as it looks like, um, translates to Finally, and that is the opening tune, the title track. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I believe the vast majority of the lyrics here, because all the titles are listed in Swedish, so I'm guessing this is all in Swedish. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear an English phrase every now and then, but um, by and large it looks like it's going to be in Swedish, so obviously I'm not going to be able to follow along in the moment. Um, but, you know, the word finally, even though it is a single word title, it might suggest an expectation that something should have been arrived, um, or recognized, or accomplished at a certain point, but for whatever reason it carried out or it um, uh, was drawn out for longer. I'm not sure what phrase I was looking for there. But yeah, the idea that it hasn't actually happened until now. And so once you get to that point, it's like, ah, oh, finally, you know, this feels overdue. This feels um, a long time coming. So i um, curious to, you know, when I hear people talk about this, because I imagine a number of people will know on some level, you know, what her songs in Swedish are about, so i um, curious to hear. I do like the silhouette that she cuts on the back. Um, yeah, she is uh, very visually striking as well as, um, you know, vocally and sonically um, just incredible. Like, you know, I, I literally lose uh, my sense of speaking when I hear her um, sing, and there are moments where with Roxette where, you know, I'm so compelled by the vocal quality that I actually miss some of the words because it's like, oh my gosh, did you hear that? So, curious to hear what she sounds like uh, singing in her uh, mother tongue, if you will. So, once again, shout out to Eric. I do appreciate both the electronic and the Mary material. And again, also to Jeebus, who sent me Mary's material um, via, like, rips. Um, so yeah, we'll go through everything, but here we go. This is a tune that translates to finally from a compilation of the same name which is given the chronological subtitle of 1984 to 2000. Thank you. 
finally something. again not sure what it's about I do feel like the title word was heard at like a double at the beginning of the chorus if I'm not mistaken <clears throat> so finally finally something has happened or arrived um, but yeah I really enjoyed the vocal performance it wasn't her biggest vocal performance I've heard her you know belt more powerfully or go with more rasp it was you know more understated by her standards but I enjoyed it very beautiful I sounded like again as the song went along especially it was maybe like double layered with the main vocal but there was also you know some backing melodic vocals which I assume were also heard just layered in um, and those backing vocals the way she was hitting some of just the melodic moments it was really really good and it reminded me of some you know rock set tunes where she can do those non-verbal like vocal moments where you know she's not singing a word she's just singing a melody a sound and it's just like wow that's fantastic so yeah I really enjoyed the composition of that one it was surprising. Again, you know, I listen to Ace of Base these days, I'm going through their material, and they have a lot of songs, at least, you know, on the album I've gone through, Happy Nation, where it has this pop reggae feel to it. And this one, <clears throat> it had that vibe in the verses. I was really enjoying that. And it wasn't just that sort of rhythm guitar type of feel. There was also some keyboard moments where it felt like, you know, genuine, like, keyboard um, type of reggae uh, lines. So yeah, that was really cool and a surprise. Um, I assume we're going to get a lot of that pop rock feel that we get with Roxette. Maybe not. Maybe, you know, with her um, material, they, there's more of a different flavor. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some of that too. So looking forward to the variety. Once again, big shout out to Eric. I really do appreciate you. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.